Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. <clears throat> this is a TS Tech Talk video guys. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make use of Ucut Video Editor. Now, Ucut is actually the best video editor that I choose on my own end. You can choose any video editor you want on the series, but this is actually my best video editor and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of Ucut. Now, if you want to download Ucut, just go to the Play Store and download it. It's free to use and there is also a premium feature that you can make use of if you want to make use of the premium version the premium version actually comes in with a lot of even more awesome features that the free version doesn't give you but actually the reason why i chose this as the best application is just because there are so many free and good features it doesn't come with the um it doesn't come with um let me go outside it doesn't come with the um, watermark it doesn't give you a watermark when you are exporting it doesn't give you an issue it doesn't limit you from editing there is basically no limit for editing so that's the reason why i named this as my best video editor all of the video editor that i've mentioned so far they all have watermark on the free version but this one making use of this one you save and export without having your watermark on the video and apart from not having the watermark on the video even the free version has the same version the same features that some other video editors um, gives you as a premium version so I'm not going to mention names but just compare the application since the video I've been making so far look at each of the video they all have watermark by the side of them but while you are making use of Ucut, it doesn't actually give you any watermark and I know there might be other software out there that have the same feature but this is actually the best software because it doesn't give you a watermark while you are rendering your video or editing your video so edit your video peacefully and then go ahead and export to any of your social media application at ease without forcing you to enter or join the premium user now to start making use of the application all you need to do open the application click on this plus icon um you need to allow the storage so go ahead and click on allow it usually displays this way so all you need to do is to allow the storage to have access to your photo your media and your file so that you'll be able to make use of those to um add your video so i just clicked on allow and you can notice how it's very simplified for us when you open it it displays this area all these are the videos that are existing on your um device you can notice actually is um on videos and if for some reason you want to switch this to photos you only want to select photos just click on only photos and it will display photo and if you want to see both the video and the photo just click on all and it will display everything you have on your device but for some reason i'm going to click on this option this is a very simplified option so when you click on that particular option it just displays all of the folders you have existing on your device so where i have my intro of the video is actually where i have this one video maker so i'm going to tap on that and now select on this particular one you notice our selection displays on the bottom area now that's fine let's go ahead and add the main video i'm going to click on that drop down once more and select mobizine which is actually the video editor um the video um screen recorder that i made use of so i'm going to click on mobizine and now select this so and now i have two different videos i have the video from the u um the intro and i also have the mobizine video so um another thing that is remaining right there is actually our outro but again we can't add our outro right there until we start editing the video so all you need to do is to click on this forward icon and it opens it up like this when you scroll you can see this is our intro and this is our outro and then let's go ahead and add even the um outro of the video so i'm going to click on this folder once more and select the one x the one video maker tap on the video and then allow it to um, be added on the video now this is the outro this is the main video and this is the intro so i think i'm okay by having all of this and then now let's assume we are making a video and while the video is going on we decide to actually um let people know that a certain area should be clicked and leave a test also now probably i want them to click on this youtube all i need to do is to add an arrow right there now to put an arrow right there click on this sticker icon where it's written sticker tap on that and then you are going to notice where it has um gif on the bottom this area tap on the gif and then another thing i want to select is um an arrow 
pointing to that area so i'm going to scroll over to where it has arrow and now click on the arrow so on the arrow section it will display different kind of arrow choose any one you think that fits um the um the stuff you are working on and i have two things i want to do right here i want to circle that particular youtube stuff so i just selected it you notice this um um, check icon like a good icon click on that to confirm and then play the video a little and pause it and now um, Try to move it around to actually centralize get that particular stuff You want them to click on now. I'm going to reduce the size you notice on the side area It has this icon um, this arrow icon up and down just click on it to shrink the image to fit to um, the perfect size you want i think this size is perfect enough and when i play the video you can notice um it plays on and if you want this particular stuff to play even longer click on this area and increase the timeline but for some reason I, i'm okay by having it here so you know most times if you are um making a tutor and you want people to know that they have to click on this area you start displaying it where the, the video start displaying and then end it where that particular scene ends so i'm going to end it right there because i think that is where the scene ended and then apart from this arrow you know most times the arrow might not be enough apart from this cycle it might not be enough for people to know that that is exactly what you are talking about now you might want to add an arrow so i'm going to move the timeline to the beginning of that particular effect or that particular um cycle i draw initially and now click on the sticker once more and the arrow is already selected so i'm going to scroll over to choose a particular arrow that will be pointing at that area you can see they have different arrow and one t one more tip guys make sure you are online to make use of all of these if you are not online this um these arrows will not display you can notice that i'm currently online my internet is turned on this is it so make sure that your internet is on to make use of all of this because they are not saved on your device they are actually saved on the cloud so you you are currently assessing it from the um, cloud so once you've selected the image the arrow you want this is what i selected so you have to click on this check icon and you notice the arrow is displaying right there now allow you to play now the reason why i always allow you to play is so that i'm going to see what i'm doing so i just moved the arrow to exactly that area so just move it to exactly the youtube so that people will know that you are talking about the youtube and if you want it to be uh, more accurate also let me scroll over to the beginning again and then i'm going to add a test so i'm going to put a test saying tap on youtube so that it will be clear enough for people to understand um what you are actually saying i think um there is a typographical error here okay type tap on youtube so once you finish typing your word you notice this color icon right there click on it when you click on the color icon what you are going to change on default is the test but if you want to change the background color you notice the one that says label go ahead and click on the label and now i'm going to swipe over to this area and um, choose this red color if you are not satisfied with those colors click on this other match color and then choose this one i always prefer to make use of this one because it actually brings out um um the rgb color effect that i like and i think um i'm okay with this particular one although it's not exactly red this is like um a purple color but i think i'm okay with it um if you want to reduce the size or increase it you notice on the area on this arrow right there just go ahead and shrink it just like i did previously for the letter i drew then shrink it and move it to the left so um click on that check icon to confirm your save and then play it to test it out i think it's cool and it's okay this way and then all you need to do you notice the timeline on this area just make sure you have it perfectly where the previous test stopped so you can just move it right there i think there is even more move it right there once you get to the arrow you are going to notice and so if i play the video you notice it plays smoothly and everything is fine so for some reason guys if you recorded a video and maybe on the video you didn't add a sound or probably what you said right there wasn't correct for instance let me play this video all right so you notice i said all right there so let me say from this point 
in time um i don't want this particular voice to be displayed i want a different voice to be displayed so all i need to do is to cut that particular area so i just selected this stuff once you click on it you will notice um different options will come up now if you deselect you notice different option is displaying right there so once you click on it like this um, once you tap on it like this, it displays all of this option. Now you have to, I have to split the image from there. So like from there to here, I click and then I split it also. So I splitted this area and now I clicked on it. And you notice the volume sound right there. I'm going to tap on the volume sound to reduce the voice entirely. Under that particular area now, I just reduce the voice. Now let me play the video for you to see. Now listen. Stop the recording. You notice no voice is displaying right there on that particular timeline and once you finish the voice start displaying so on this particular area if you want to add a different voice probably you made a mistake that's the only time you do all of this so probably you made a mistake you want to change that particular voice note right there now i've already highlighted that area the next thing to do is scroll over now guys a quick note most times you might get this accurately the first time so you need to try several times before you get it accurately so now this is the record right now tap on the record and it will display um and show you to allow you code uh video editor to record sound so i'm going to say while using the app which is fine by me and now you notice um on the area where i cut it's where it's going to start and this is where i cut this is where i stop the cutting you can notice that white line right there so if you want to start editing or recording your voice all you need to do is to tap on the mic area and now when i type on it is recording now you notice the video is moving right it just reached there i think it passed it already passed i just stopped this is where it should end so i'm going to like cut it from there so i'm going to cut the voice from here so um actually for some reason there is no cut option so all i need to do is to come outside the edit area tap on this area tap on this area oh you notice i just clicked on the voice i just recorded click on split and now select delete now it deleted the previous one so this is the voice i recorded and now let me go ahead and play it so that you guys will see the mic area. there you go so now you notice the voice plays instead of the main sound coming from the video because i already reduced the sound coming from the video so this is actually perfect go ahead and try it out and then after that let's say for some reason you want to add music to your video and you can notice the way the timeline is actually simplified this is the reason why it's the best the timeline is very clear and very bold and if for some reason you want to zoom in to the application you notice my two hand right here if you do like this you actually zoom out if you do like this um you actually zoom in zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out so that is actually what you need to do so i need to zoom in under this area so this is what i need to do on the timeline area you select it and then you move it now it's currently zooming out right you notice it's getting bigger right now once you zoom out it allows us to select the accurate point that we want because you're actually seeing it clearly and it moves a bit smoothly unlike uh, moving it so big so i just zoomed in so that i'll be able to select that particular area and now the next thing i need to do is to add a music right now this is a music icon right there so i'm going to have to click on it tap on the music and it displays all of the music now all this music displaying right there is actually you cut music and please do not make use of any of this music if you are making youtube content because you are going to get a copyright on this you did not pay for the application you are using it for free so even though they write free to use when you click on it they will write free to use let me click you notice it says free to use right now the reason why it says free to use is because it's free to use for premium user but since you are making the making use of the application for free do not make use of any of this free song it's actually free to use but it's not free to use for free user it's free to use for premium user so do not make use of all of these free songs so if you want to make use of any song go to youtube um video and download any of the music and then come over to um come over to my music since you already downloaded the music on your device when you click on my music it will display every music on your device so now go ahead and select the music you want once again i'm selecting amino and now go ahead and click on use so when you click on use it displays all of this information for you telling you more about the stuff and now i'm just going to click on okay so um let's say i played the video and you know the video should be um the music should be longer than the video
so this is where the video ended but i do not want it to um sound on my outro i want it to actually stop where my main video stop and this is exactly where my main video stop so i'm going to have to cut the song right here so to cut the song click on the music once the music is selected you will notice um the split icon will display on top of this area you notice the split icon display right there i'm going to hit cut and now select this particular one and then hit delete now you notice it has been deleted and then again guys you notice um sometimes when a music is playing and then it, the music is trying to end it's going to like fade out smoothly so if you want those kind of effects tap on this music make sure you have the ending of the timeline tap on the music and then select this fade when you select the fade it just fade the music out where the music is ending so yeah i, I will have to scroll over to the end of um to the end of the sound and then click and swipe and swipe the fade out you will notice um this area it's getting smaller smaller i don't know if you notice it so i want the music i want the music to actually fade out so click on check and now test our play i'm going to test our play from here so you notice the music will like fade out like the music is ending watch you notice you notice right You notice that gradually the music stops and if you're not okay with that just go ahead and change the fade out effect reduce it a bit and then check so mostly this is just a perfect way to reduce the sound from playing so loud and that is that for this but then again before i round up this video let me show you guys even more things that i didn't cover from the beginning of the chapter so you are starting to create a video actually before um after you imported your intro before you import your main video, the first thing you should do is actually to set the size of the video. On default, it chooses YouTube size. So maybe you are a um, TikTok user or maybe an Instagram Reels video creator. And this size is not going to be exactly the same size with your um, TikTok or your Instagram. So all you need to do is to set the size or the frame rate of this video. Now to do that, scroll over to this area. You are going to notice where it says crop. Now click on the crop stuff and you are going to notice all of these options that is left for you to crop the video i left it free because i want it to be on a youtube um size but if you are making use of instagram post click on this instagram um, one ratio one if you are making use of instagram reels make use of four ratio five if you are making use of um a youtube video make use of 16 ratio nine although on default it's actually selected on 16 ratio nine and then if you are making use of TikTok, go ahead and select the TikTok, which is 9 ratio 16. And you can also make use of this 3 ratio 4 if you are making use of um, TikTok or maybe um, YouTube Shorts. And then if you are making use of, there are several screen size, so just go ahead and look over all of them. All of these ones are for tablet, tab, 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 tab. There are different kind of tabs, so go ahead and choose the exact frame rate that you want, and it's going to resize the video to that exact frame rate. Now, apart from that particular frame rate, there is even more interesting thing that other um, other video editor doesn't have. You notice where it says BG, right? Now click on the BG. Now the BG also gives you frame rates for the BG, unlike any other video editor. This is the only video editor that has BG frame rate and BG um, size of of the background. Now whichever one you choose, just go ahead and choose any any of them. But then after you've chosen them, click on OK. And then just that area we smooth, just that area we skip right now. There is even more interesting thing to do under that BG area. Now you notice this video right there. Automatically, um, you cut makes use of the um, effect. If you notice this color right there, that is the color that is blurred out on this area. If I scroll, you can notice it will change. Let me scroll. You notice the background changes different color, right? Now the reason why it's changing all of this color is because it's trying to match the color of the particular screen on your recording so if for some reason you want to use a particular um, background all you need to do is to click on that same bg but now when you click on the bg you notice where it has color sorry let me go ahead and have this timeline selected so that i will see what i'm working on now click on bg once more so when you click on that bg ignore this frame rate since you already worked on it on the background area but if you want you can go ahead and select the exact aspect ratio now i'm going to click on the color 
now let's say we want to use a red color or a purple color all you need to do is to choose any color and you notice it transformed to that particular color it's actually red but the reason why you are seeing as if it's a different color is because of the camera just ignore that the um the color effect is a bit different from the camera so choose the exact color you want and then um click on the check icon but if you want to use an image for your background click on this bg right there and it will give you um an existing image on their platform this is um free images they have on their platform but guys um you can make use of their own but i have a specific image i always use on most of my video and it's saved on my device to get that particular image just click on this image icon right there and it will display everything you have on your device now i'm going to click on this link i think that particular image is under downloads right now i'm going to click on downloads to see that exact image this is the exact image i was talking about now i just clicked on it now you notice the image is displayed right there so if this image is okay for you go ahead and leave it and click on this check icon but if for some reason you want to blow out the image a little bit go ahead and so scroll a little um if you're okay just leave it i'm still blowing it you can see the image is being blurred right so um i think i think this is fine so if it's okay by you click on this check icon and now you can notice the video is going to play and the background is going to display along the video and until the end of the video you notice the exact place the video ended is where the background will end oh sorry <laughs> the video the background did not continue the reason is because our video actually i cut the video somewhere around here so the place you cut the video is actually where it stopped because the video setting actually reflects on that particular area you cut. So you still need to set the background, still the same thing. And then if, but the best practice I always use while making use of background is I add the background before cutting anything. So when you add the background before cutting, all of this will not happen. The only reason why I have to be selecting this again is because I already cut the background before I edited the video. So you can see they will still display, but where it gets to the other place I cut is still going to stop. Now, this video editor is very sensitive and very unique. So just make sure you use it properly the right way. If you use it properly the right way, you get perfectly the job done. Now, if you are okay to save the video, just go ahead and click on save and it's going to give you different options to save your video. Now, you can only save your video on 1080dp. Actually, this is very big. If you notice the last video editor I used was on 720p. That is because um, all of those other video editor make use of 720p and you are making use of their free version. But on Ucut free version, it gives you 1080p. 1080p means pixel. And there is also 4k so to use 4k you need to make use of their premium version this is the highest so far for any video recorder and i think this is perfect for any any video creator out there make use of try to make use of you called free and make use of other free version of other video editor you'll be able to tell the difference now if you are okay click on save and it's going to save your video after saving you can export on any of those social media you can choose youtube and any other stuff you don't need it doesn't give you actually it doesn't actually limit you to uh, making use of the premium version before you use this or all those stuff but if you decide anytime you want to make use of the premium version click on this premium icon right there or if you don't see this particular option while rendering you can also um I'm, I'm just canceling it you can also see the premium version right there where it says pro go ahead and tap on it you can make the payment and very funny this is like the cheapest one to use unlike probably um other video editor which is eight thousand for a year and this is just 4.8 let me say five thousand naira in nigerian naira this is very cheap so you can try to make use of the premium version since the premium version already already comes with a lot of unique features and i think this is just the perfect video editor for you if you are a creator making youtube video um tiktok video on any other video creator stuff Try to make use of you cuts is very cool. Um, like advertising it right now because I've used it so far so free. All right, guys, see you on my next video. Peace.